Listen up, maggots. This is Sergeant Slaughter. And welcome to the slaughterhouse. Zazel, my number one marauder, has some exciting G.I. Joe wrestling action headed your way. Now, here's your orders. I want you to join me, Sergeant Slaughter, and watch another thrilling episode of the Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship. Welcome to the Slaughterhouse. You know, if you need a jacket, I have a spare one you can use. I have the power of the warrior to keep me warm. Yeah, well, you've gone from green to blue. I'll get you that jacket. I'll take it. Thank you. Scoop, great to see your old buddy. Your equipment's arrived and it's all set. Hey, watch out for the hitman. <laughs> Ease up, McCoy. I've got this. Hey, step back! Well, if it isn't the hitman's bodyguard, the anvil. You feel pretty tough pushing people around? You lay even one finger on one of my friends again, and I'll tear back that mohawk and turn it into a brassiere and make you do a fashion show. Got that, maggot? Anyone else want to step out of line and find out why this place is called the Slaughterhouse? Yes, Sarge, your visitor has arrived, yeah, and is waiting for you in your quarters, mm-hmm, yeah. All right, maggots, stand straight and listen up. You're gonna fall in, and who the heck is that, Cookie Monster? I am the Blue Blazer. I put my fear behind me and my skill before me. Thus, I am unassailable. Sure, why not? We already have a guy dressed like a snake, so why not add a Sesame Street reject to the guest list? Oof, Sarge should change his name to Sergeant Savage. Hmm, he does seem a bit on edge. Oh, damn, here he comes. Act natural. Ah, turn. What? What are you two doing just standing around? Now listen up. You guys think you can handle the rest of the guests? Or would you rather be making snow angels? If they are on the list, let them in. If not, they can hot foot it out of here. Got it? Sir, sir yes, yes, sir. Good. Well, that was intense. Yeah, almost as intense as that orange jumpsuit. <laughs> now don't you start on my wardrobe again. This is a highly specialized spacesuit that can regulate my body temperature and is, uh, and is actually very, very orange now that you mention it. <laughs> uh, guys, we may have an issue here. They are both on the list. What do you mean? They are both on on the list. My name is the Mountie, and I am coming to Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship to restore the law and the order and stamp out disobedience and insubordination. What was it Sarge said? If they are on the list, they get in, right? And they are both on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy Piper. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, it's my old pal Sarge. Oh, good to see ya. I was afraid if you took any longer, I'd have to come looking for ya. Now, <laughs> now, this ain't a social call. No, no, no. I'm here on behalf of our mutual friend, the Million Dollar Merc. That maggot, you've got some nerve calling us friends. Now, hang on, hang on. Hear me out, Sarge. I know he started something here, and you're the Sarge. You're going to finish it, right? Right. But he's bitten off more than he can chew. He knows it, man. So he's coming crying me, and he's saying, the Sarge man, he shut me down. 
I gotta end this. So he's offering up this briefcase of cold, hard cash. $100,000. There's $100,000 in that tiny briefcase? Yeah, it's not like in the movies. So take this peace offering. He stops. You stop. We win. You really believe I can be bribed? I hope you didn't come all this way just to insult me, old friend. Do you at least want to see it? I have no interest in whatever is in that briefcase. Well, <laughs> you're stupid, Sarge. What? Hold up. Hold up. Hear me out. <laughs> Hold up. You're stupid for letting this guy get under your skin. Now listen. <laughs> Hold up. Listen. You're Sergeant Slaughter, man. This is the slaughterhouse. Sure, you've been shutting down his little itty-bitty try-hard wrestling promotion, the money, the money pit. But think about it, man. Let him admit defeat. Take the money and put your focus back into the Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship. Let him have his insignificant little funhouse circus act. He's not going to interfere here. You won. So when I say you're a stupid man, it's because you can't see. <laughs> the war is over. Take the money. <sighs> he truly is deranged. Not everyone has a price. I'm not sure what his game is, but I'm not playing by his rules. I respect that. I do. Do <sighs> you have somewhere here we can lock it up till after the show and I'll take it back with me? Uh, yeah, all right. But I want this gone. Heh, <laughs> $100,000. You must be scared or stupid or both. But hi, Rod. It sure is great to see you again. It's been too long, old buddy. Far too long. Oh, and Sarge, you got any bubblegum? I'm all out. Coming to you live from Canada, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Slaughterhouse. I'm your host, Hazel Phoenix, and with me tonight, the greatest hero of them all, Action Man. Full Force! Thank you for inviting me to Canada, another beautiful part of the Commonwealth. Last time, we witnessed a brutal steel tower match where Kano dominated early before the Bulldog suplex sent them crashing through the tower and onto the ring below. A mysterious force sent the slaughterhouse into darkness, and when the lights returned, the bulldog had pinned Kano and was awarded the victory, despite them both being knocked out at the time. Knowing Bulldog as I do, he'll be pleased with the victory, but not with the manner in which he received it. Tonight sees Canadian versus Canadian, as the Mountie enters into a submission match with the Hitman. We're going to cross with the Fink, who is with the Mountie, right now. I'm here with the Mountie who is laser-focused on bringing down the Hitman. What's the reason behind this vendetta? When the Hitman meets the Mountie in the ring at Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship, it's not just a wrestling match. No. There's a match for the very soul of the greatest country in the world, Canada. You see, Hitman, the Mountie represents everything that is right about Canada. Truth, justice, and honor. You represent dishonesty and corruption. You say you're the best there was, the best there is, the best there ever will be. You're the excellence of execution. Well, Hitman, when we meet in the ring, I am your judge, your jury, and your executioner. And I will carry out the sentence. And when I do, Hitman, you will know the Mountie always gets his man. Well, there you have it, viewers. The Mountie is going into this match extremely determined and isn't horsing around. Who let a horse in here? We caught up early with the Hitman, who had a warning for the Mountie. It's time, Mountie. You've come into this, a man possessed, a man with nothing to lose, a man with an uphill battle against the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. When the bell rings, none of that matters. Everything you are, and everything you've built yourself up to be, goes out the window. You aren't in the ring with a random thug, 
someone you can apprehend, or someone you can apply some fictional brand of justice on. No, tonight you enter a new league. On this night, you find yourself completely out of your depth, completely outmatched, and there's nothing that can describe the shame I will see in your eyes when you wonder to yourself, what the hell did I just get myself into? Oh, you've got a plan in your head. A way you think this match is going to go. All you'll be doing is praying for dear life, looking for a way out. But Mountie, I'm a merciful man. I intend to give you that way out. Just tap the mat and I'll let go. Word of advice though, tap that mat before you hear the snap in your legs. No, there's no way that you're going to walk out of here tonight. But ask for that mercy and you just might crawl out of here tonight. All you have to do is tap, tap, tap. Let me introduce you to the sharpshooter. We'll be right back with tonight's match. Attention maggots, welcome to the slaughterhouse. Tonight's match is a submission match. Victory determined by either competitor successfully getting their opponent to tap out through the use of submission holds only. Or if they pass out from the pain. <laughs> Coming down the aisle from Alberta, Canada, the Hitman. And his opponent, from Quebec, Canada, the Mountie! As much as I appreciate the Mountie's overtures of truth, justice, and honor, there's just something about his uniform that suggests he might not be on the up and up. Whoa! Looks like the Mountie's been watching Tron! Dangerously close to being disqualified for using a foreign object. Oh. There goes the bell. The Mountie's all business, not even time for a stare down. It's hard to see from this angle, but I think he's got him in a full Nelson. Yeah, the Mountie isn't wasting any time, and will attempt to get the Hitman to submit early. Savage elbows to the solar plexus. There'll probably be some internal bleeding. The Hitman is going to work on that arm. Looks like he's trying to dislocate that arm by pulling it out of its socket. The Hitman's got the Mountie in a classic arm bar. He'll try to use that hole to control the Mountie. A series of swift elbows to the Hitman's face has loosened his grip on the Mountie. The Hitman's gone up top for a moonsault! Hitman crashes down on the Mountie, sending him face first onto the ring floor. Hitman is taking full advantage of a stunned Mountie and has him locked up. Hitman's got him locked in the sharpshooter! The Mountie will struggle to get out of this hold. This could be a game changer. Yes, the Hitman's famous sharpshooter. Widely known as the Scorpion Deathlock. But whatever you do, don't let any Canadians hear you say that because they really hate that name. Of course, the whole point of the Scorpion Deathlock... Uh, 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 the whole point of the Hitman's famous sharpshooter is to cause your opponent to submit by overly stretching the ligaments, tendons, and muscles of the legs. Yes, the Mountie's best chance now is to break the hold by reaching for that lower rope. He is in danger of being forced to submit or passing out from the pain. This is painful to watch. He's close to that rope. Can he get it? Yes, he's got the rope. The Mountie must be close to passing out from that searing pain. The Hitman is contesting the decision. He must have thought the Mountie was going to tap out. But hold up! The Mountie is on his feet! Wait, what is he reaching for? What is that? A shock stick? He has a cattle prod! A 
A shocking turn of events as the hitman slumps onto the ropes. Shocking indeed. The Mountie will no doubt be disqualified for the use of a foreign object. Hitman is all just a bunch of lies. You see, Hitman, truth is all I need. And I'm going to expose the truth about who you really are. And how you are nothing but a dirty, low-down, lying, cheating scumbag. You see, you thought you got away with it. And I have the video proof of it, Hitman. I know it was you who screwed Kano. That it was you who threw your brother-in-law on top of him so that he could get the one, two, three. So this facade that you and your family continue to push on all of us in Canada and all over the world that you're honorable, decent people. Well, your lying eyes can't hide what we all saw. That's right, Hitman. I have the proof that you are nothing but a dirty, rotten criminal. And when I'm done with you, Hitman, everything that you and your family have built up for all those years, the lies, the deceit, the harm, the people that you've destroyed, they are all going to get their revenge. It's the revenge of truth, Hitman, that people will really know who you are, that you are that piece of garbage, and that you get what you deserve. And Hitman, I want you to remember this. I told you I was going to get you. It's the Mountie always gets his man. There it is, the Hitman putting Bulldog into the pin position. It was the Hitman. It was a Hitman all along. What's this? What's going on? Ha <laughs> I am the Blue Blazer, a high flyer who's honed my skills to be precisely balanced from my ultra secret technique, known only. Hey! I was monologuing. The Blue Blazer arriving too late to help the Hitman. Watch out! It's Anvil! Anvil's pushing past to help his friend, and the Blue Blazer is right there with him. I'll give him this, he's not wrong about being a high flyer. Here's Sarge with the match results. Tonight's match ends in a double disqualification. The Mountie due to a foreign object. The Hitman for match interference and unsportsmanlike conduct. And for being a pew. Some embarrassment and humiliation for the Hitman for sure. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a double disqualification for the Canadians tonight. But something tells me the Mountie was never in it for the win. We have the Bulldog standing by at our London studio, who has just found out about the Hitman's interference. You can take it from me, it's certainly not the way I would have chosen to win. But after all, a pin is a pin. Hey, young Matilda, that rhymes. And that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. Join us next time as the Sword of House heads to Japan, where Street Fighter champion Ryu will be going up against the Yokozuna, known as E-Honda. Good night! Full force! Did you get Space Invaders yet? No, but I did beat your high score in Pac-Man. Preposterous! Don't be a stranger, Hot Rod. Go oh, wait. The briefcase. You forgot the briefcase. Macho, what are you doing in here? What are you doing with that briefcase? What in Sam Hill's going on? Macho, wait up! What's going on? No time to explain! Put the slaughterhouse into lockdown now!
someone tell Inky, Pinky, Blinky, and Clyde that the fat lady's getting warmed up. Oh, you're close to my high score. Initiating lockdown protocol. Nuts. Holy heck! You still alive, man? Ooh, what's going on? I'm certifiably in a position I'd rather not I be. I don't yeah. think you should be trying to stand. You're a hero, macho. Saved all our lives. How did you know it was an explosive? Yeah, well, if I know anything about anything, it's explosives, yeah. Welcome back to the land of the living. They have a fighting spirit. They will be okay. Pretty banged up, but okay. Okay. The air rescue is on its way. Tell them to sit tight. Are you all right there, old bean? I, uh... You're all right, chap. Must be a concussion. We'll get you out of here as soon as we can, Fink. Rescue squad is on the way. Restored. Give that some hell yeah. Run a diagnostic and let's see how bad the damage is. Okay. Resplendent. I hate to sit back while the rescue squad are prepping our wounded for evac, but I was told my big head was getting in the way. The good news is everyone should be a okay. <sighs> yeah, that is good news. But the same can't be said for the slaughterhouse. We have structural damage to the lower levels, the satellite mainframe is toast, and we only just got the power back on. The biggest problem is the transformation cog. It's kaput. We can't move. And our weapon systems are dead. We're sitting ducks. Yeah. Looks like Japan is on hold for the foreseeable future. As is the Slaughterhouse Wrestling Championship. But I've invited an old friend to help secure the Slaughterhouse while we're immobile. Look out, crooks! Super cop is in town! What's up with the sunglasses? This ain't Hollywood, maggot! Super cop, you ugly son of a gun! The slaughterhouse is now fitted with a Cal 3000 security system. Anyone, and I mean anyone, who tries to get into the slaughterhouse that's not invited? Well... Let's just say it's highly effective. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Damn it! I do not believe that was the outcome you were looking for. You had a good plan. Plan failed. He will be coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> It almost worked, but no matter, this is just as good. If I know anything, it's how to turn a negative into a profit. 
And you, my giant friend, will be my biggest advantage for when the swords comes knocking on my door. <laughs> A person often knows their strengths and weaknesses. They will often display their strengths while hiding their weaknesses where none can see. This is a mistake. Your mistake. A true warrior accepts his weaknesses and trains them until they become one of his strengths. This will be a battle of spirits, not fists. This is fear your fear. That fear is a shortcoming of the soul. You must search your soul and conquer your weaknesses if you wish to face me. Can the owner of the Toyota Lexus LS400 please return to your vehicle? Now that's what I call action. Have I made myself clear? Good. Then until next time, as you were, carry on, and you're dismissed. And look out, Cobra. Yo, Joe. I'm Demouty! I'm handsome, I'm brave, I'm strong. I'm Demouty! And I enforce the law. You can try to run, but you can never hide because the Mouty always gets his back. Listen up, Maggot! Welcome to the Slaughterhouse! Perfect! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below.